Thanks for tuning in to Sidewalks Entertainment. I'm your host, Lori Rosales. So if you're wondering why I'm so giddy right now, it's because, well, for one, I had a lot of Vietnamese coffee right now. That's like my personal favorite, if you guys know. I love Vietnamese coffee over Starbucks. Yes. Anyways, enough about my coffee. So <laughs> I keep looking at my um, my uh, list here. The reason why I, I couldn't memorize it by heart was because today's guest has such a long list of fan favorite films. I wasn't able to mention all of them during the actual speaking with him. So we're gonna talk about it now. So anyways, today's guest is known for his work in a Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, Finding Nemo, Up, Inside Out, Coco, The Lion King, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Fantasia 2000, Mary Poppins Returns, Wally, but you'll definitely know him for his work and creation, Ratatouille. Jim Capobianco will be joining us right here on Sidewalks Entertainment. So super exciting i hope we got hopefully you guys are excited too don't go anywhere sit back relax let's go ahead and get right to it right here on sidewalks entertainment hi jim thank you so much for joining us hi i'm so happy to be here thank you so you have such a long list of fan favorite films and projects that you've worked on when you reflect back on the films that you've been a part of which holds the most memories for you in regards to your experience as being a part of the creative team? Well, I would have to say Ratatouille for sure. Um, and, you know, P Mary Poppins Returns was pretty special too because I got to revisit a film I enjoyed as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, and that's of course the inventor for sure. So which of the films that you've worked on was your personal favorite as an audience member? As in, oh, wow. Oh my gosh. You know, that's a hard. Yeah. Well, I feel like there's a, there's a difference when you're part of the, being a part of the creative team and then seeing it on the other side of the screen as an audience member. I mean, am I right? No, it's totally different. Cause I think, you can't really look at the film in an objective way because <laughs> you carry on all the memories of making the film. So it, you bring a lot of baggage to it. <laughs> so the stop motion adventure film, The Inventor, is a story about none other than artist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci. How did the idea for this film come about? Well, I made a short film in 2009 and I started to study Leonardo then, and it was about Leonardo da Vinci. And I, you know, started to learn about him as a, that he wasn't just a genius, he was a real person, you know, he procrastinated and he um, struggled with doubt and he had bosses and, you know, had to deal with his workers, his apprentices wrote grocery lists in his uh, sketches. So, you know, he's a real person and I really wanted to bring that into the focus of uh, the story of him. You know, really bring him down to our level and so that people could see an aspect of themselves in Leonardo da Vinci instead of always this untouchable guy up on, you know, as I said, a pedestal and, and a, you know, a genius of all mm -hmm. things. So that's really why I, I dived in. Did you always envision the inventor to be in stop motion or did the idea for this film to be in stop motion come later in the creative process? No, it was always thought of in stop motion from the, the beginning. Uh, I like this idea of combining the two handcrafted art forms of um, animation, drawn animation and stop motion animation. And the drawn animation became, you know, kind of his it flights of fancy, his imagination, his, um, you know, so kind of based out of his Leonardo da Vinci sketches and, and stuff, his thinkings. So the stop motion became um, the reality of the film, if you will. Um, and the kind of grounding, because stop motion itself is kind of a grounded form where you have to deal with gravity and, and things like that and the, the limits of the puppet. Whereas 2D drawn animation has this fluid nature and this freedom to it. 
And that felt to me like imagination. And, you know, they both lent themselves to an actual Leonardo feeling. You know, stop motion is very engineered and built and, uh, you know, skeleton mm -hmm. armature and, and crap, build things and crap things. And drawn animation, obviously, is drawings. So they felt right. And I love them. <laughs> so. No. Well, I mean, because it's stop motion, does does it take longer to to create a film in stop motion as opposed to creating a film using computer animation, or is it the time about the same? I think it actually, you know, it always gets the rep reputation that it's a more difficult form, and there's definitely difficulties in it. But I actually look at each form of animation as having their own difficulties and um, problems. They're just in different areas of it. So, you know, I, I think they're all hard. You have to be kind of a lunatic to do animation in some ways. <laughs> so it's a crazy art form. It takes so long and, and patience and um, a lot of people to different crafts, people to come and work on each different form. So I think they're equal in their own ways. I think they are. So apart from your work as a writer, producer, and director, you also give lectures and master classes. So mm -hmm. what inspires you to share your expertise and your knowledge with the rest of the world? Well, I think it's really important for us um, to pass on our knowledge and our experiences to other people. And um, for me and what I do, it, you know, I think people find it very interesting and unique. So to be able to pass that on to the next generation and, you know, educate them from what I've learned and the mistakes I've made and, um, you know, and the stories I have and to pass that on to others so they can then carry that on into their work and hopefully do the same to the next generation. So I think in a way the film focuses a lot on that. It's the idea of legacy and what you leave behind. So that idea, you know, I, I really instill in my own life. So I do like to teach and, um, and you know, you know, and you inspire others and they go on to make their own great work. So that's very rewarding. Well, uh, Jim, sadly we are out of time, but it was such an honor to speak with you today. Thank you so much. Oh, same here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Everyone, be sure to watch The Inventor, the stop motion adventure film. Jim, you take care. Bye-bye. Thanks. Have a great day. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit us at SidewalksTV.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media.